Hey everyone, this video we're going to be talking about passing numerous arguments to a function. When we do this, we need numerous parameters. One parameter for every piece of data passed in. So what if I wanted to create a greet function? And this greet function is a little bit special because there is a flag variable in here that we can toggle whether or not to be nice. If we're feeling in a good mood, we can greet nicely. If we're feeling a bit ticked off, then we can be a butt munch. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to say b underscore nice, and this is going to default to true. You know, generally I think I'm a pretty nice guy. And also, I like to keep the spaces out of the equals here for the parameters, although it doesn't really matter. And now what we can do is we can do some different casings. So we can say if b nice, and then we could say not just because it's set up that way. So who do you think you are? Otherwise, we'll say, hey there, welcome, and then put the person's name. So running this, by default it says, hey there, welcome Caleb, but we have the option to go in here and put a comma and pass in false. And when we do this, we run it, it says, who do you think you are? So it's just another way we can make our function a little bit more versatile. Now I have a question for you. It's a challenge. I don't really expect you to know the answer because we're gonna talk about it in the next video. What if I wanted to set this to false, but I wanted to keep this as is? Well, you can see there's a problem. If we get rid of Caleb and we just wanna use the default there and we try to run this, mm, it's not gonna work. That's because it's taking this false value and assigning it to name and it just throws everything off. It's trying to concatenate with a Boolean. Mm, icky, I do not like. So what we're gonna be talking about next is how we can do that, fix that problem so we can assign to a specific parameter.